Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Buck Parker. I am a board certified general surgeon. And in this video, we're gonna talk about hernia symptoms. Uh, a lot of people have hernias. It's very, very common to have hernias. If you don't know what a hernia is, you can go to my other videos, check out what a definition of hernia is and what types of hernias there are. There's a ton of them. There's a umbilical, there's inguinal, there's hiatal, there's uh, incisional, there's epigastric. There's all sorts of hernias. So check those out uh, if you wanna know about a specific hernia. But this one we're gonna talk about just the symptoms. So basically the quick and dirty on a hernia is it is a, a hole or an abnormal hole in the say abdominal wall or the uh, diaphragm or something like that. Typically when people are talking about what are the symptoms of a hernia, they mean like umbilical or abdominal or inguinal or groin hernia. So I'm gonna kind of uh, tailor this video to that one. And if you have a specific other hernia, see my videos for that. So basically when you have a hole in that abdominal wall or the groin, uh, you will have swelling and a little bit of pain. Now you generally do not have fevers and chills and nausea and vomiting if it's a small hernia. It may be just some like achy discomfort in say, if it's the groin, maybe your right groin because you have a right-sided inguinal hernia, okay? Um, that may be more when you're standing up and less when you're laying down. And that's because uh, gravity takes our bowels and everything that's in our belly and stuffs it down into the groin. We're talking about groin hernia now. It stuffs it down into the groin and puts pressure uh, on that those tissues there. And there are a couple nerves that run through that area, the inguinal area, and so if you're putting lots of pressure abnormally and stretching everything out there, then you may be putting abnormal pressure on those nerves, causing that pain too. The in interesting thing about the uh, inguinal hernia and actually incisional or umbilical hernias is when you lay flat, they, the symptoms typically go away or are at least um, improved a little bit because you change the gravity. Now, when you're laying flat, the bowels want to go towards your back and they're not being stuffed down into the groin or up, you know, basically into the uh, umbilical area. That's pretty much the symptoms of a simple hernia without any complications. When you have a larger hernia or a hernia which has some abdominal contents in it, uh, like small bowel or colon um, or, or um, omentum, like which is the fat in the belly, then you can have different symptoms. If the small bowel gets caught in there and the, it's a very tight uh, hole, then nothing can pass through. Now these type of symptoms, you may get nause nauseous, you may have vomiting, okay? You may have some fevers and chills and feeling really bad, some bloating and pain. So that's a little bit different than the simple kind of hernia. Now these type of symptoms are actually a little bit more emergent. You should probably go into the emergency department um, or right away, if not, you know, see your doctor right away. So the bowel obstruction can be, you know, kind of a serious thing and you may need surgery for that. So you wanna go in as soon as possible. That typically comes with a lot more swelling and you'll feel a lot worse okay so you definitely want to go in to, for that if you do get a lot of swelling say in the groin and you uh, are nauseous and vomiting you should lay flat okay so you lay down flat and see if you can push that back in sometimes it's super easy to push back in sometimes they're really really painful if they're really really painful and you don't want to touch it you need to immediately go to the emergency department uh, to have somebody evaluate you to see if you need surgery to fix that hernia and that bowel obstruction so lastly if those bowels are caught in the hernia and they start to die, you may get fevers and chills and feel you know, horrible like the flu type symptoms. And you know, if you get to that point, you really need to go to the emergency department uh, really quick because you don't have a lot of time. Uh, you need to get, probably get that surgery as soon as you can. So that's pretty much the rundown of symptoms of a hernia. Uh, I hope that helped you guys. If you did, that's awesome. Uh, please like the video, maybe share it. And if you can, subscribe to my channel, that'd be sweet too. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.